okay guys uh, we have already talked about uh, the virus uh, genetic materials we have already talked about the structure of the viral proteins which are capsids now in this video we will be talking about uh, the viral lipids so we'll be talking about so let me write viral lipids right now when you're talking about viral lipids uh, we are already restricted our goal to uh, look for only those viruses which contain cell envelope or, or viral envelope not I can't call it cell it's an envelope of the virus right now not all the viruses uh, actually have this envelope there are certain kind of viruses that have only this envelope right so so here we are going to talk about those envelope envelope of virus right now the envelope of virus we already know that fact that envelope of virus that usually uh, arised they are arised so let me write arised from from host cell host cell membrane right so the component of the viral envelope will be the similar like the component found in the host cell surface of the membrane right but depending upon the type of viral particle it is uh, it is going to take up uh, that uh, cell membrane right so let, let me this is a basic concept actually so usually if this is a cell membrane the virus is going to take up something so if the virus is circular in structure then it should take uh, the membrane uh, surrounding it so it will eventually be converted into something like this the virus particle surrounding the membrane it will be circular right now if the virus particle here is linear it let's say it's it's, it's a rod shaped in nature let's say if it is like this then it is de go definitely going to take a sip of this virus uh, sip of this cell membrane which will be just attached with with it like that like this like this uh, rod shaped it should not get something like that that is the important concept i am going to provide to you it should not drag something which will be larger enough for it because it is a membrane and what we mean that if we talk this is the virus inside and the virus particle or the protein coat which is hard in nature right so the protein coat here what we can see it's, uh, it's a protein it is hard in nature hard in nature right and it is having the coat as this membrane as the coat right so it should not have this so this kind of con concept is wrong it should take uh, what it requires to take if it is a circular virus then it will take uh, something which will make some part of the cell membrane which will which is eventually get the circular structure if it is of a linear or rod shape it will take something like that if it is of bullet shape so let me draw it let's again draw it if this is of the bullet shape so let me draw the bullet shape thing here like this because these are not uncommon these are pretty common now in this case this kind of virus with the bullet shaped it will get something some structure which is also being bullet shaped right like this okay and if it is a thread shape it is going to take up something which is of thread now in all this case remember one important thing that during this release of the virus particle from the host cell it requires sometimes the interaction of this nucleocapsid with the cell membrane proteins right because remember if you remember if you recall my previous video about this virus particle release you you may know that they start to provide some kind of proteins outside of the membrane and then when they are coming out so that the proteins are also embedded in the cell membrane it will come out as the envelope of the virus so you can get some proteins popping out from the virus throughout the place in all these cases you get some proteins coming out throughout this place right it's it sometimes get proteins coming out like that okay so protein molecules will come out like this okay because of, uh, because normally the host cells are having protein embedded in the cell membrane and sometimes these virus particles are, are also providing some proteins to be in, embedded onto the surface of cell or host cell membrane right so for that reason when they're coming out they will come out with some protein embedding uh, or embedded cell membrane part okay so that's a very important thing 
Now the examples for all these things because I haven't uh, drawn something imaginary because there are examples of all this structure. We can get this spherical structure. Example is influenza virus. Influenza virus. We get this kind of rod shaped structure and the example is uh, kind of bacular virus which is more in more infecting uh, insects or, or birds actually and in case of this uh, bullet shaped structure it is common for rabies virus rabies virus and there are also some thread like structure it is for the ebola virus which is a very dangerous virus now these are pretty common kind of uh, thing uh, with the virus because all of them are the enveloped virus right but there are certain kind of viruses that they are having uh, this uh, lipid component inside the capsid. Now, in all this case, what we get is that capsid will be uh, inside and the membrane will be outside, right? So, if I draw it again in this case, capsid. So, this is the capsid. So, capsid in and it is surrounded by a membrane. So, envelope out. Capsid will be inside, membrane will be outside, envelope will be outside, right? That is the actual or arrangement in all this type of viruses. But there are certain type of viruses which are having this opposite orientation. Very few viruses are there, right? And in those viruses, we are having this envelope inside the capsid. So it will look something like that. So if I draw it, it will look something like this. It will look strange, but it is not uncommon. It is pretty common. We have let's say this like that right and this is the lipid membrane surrounding this lipid membrane there will be surrounding this lipid membrane there will be capsid proteins so capsid in this case capsid is on the outer plane and lipid is inside Now this kind of thing is kind of different and the example for this type of viruses they are called enidoviruses. Sorry. They are called enidoviruses. Whole group of viruses are there. They are called enidoviruses, right? But this is pretty rare. This is really, really rare to see. Very few type of virus only. Okay, but Usually, the membrane is coating this uh, capsomere from outside. Okay, and some this membrane is actually helping them to be fused and uh, to take entry inside uh, the, some host cell which they are going to infect. Right. So that's it, and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.